Hey there, brave souls. Ever wondered what lurks in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean? Well, today we're diving deep to uncover some of the most spine-chilling monsters that call the abyss home. From creatures that look like they've swam straight out of a horror movie, to those that'll have you questioning reality. But don't worry, we'll keep it buoyant and breezy. After all, it's just a drop in the ocean of wonders out there. Stay tuned and let's make a splash, but remember, it's all fin in games until someone meets a sea monster. Here are the 20 most terrifying monsters found in the deep. Pacific Black Dragon Fish Have you ever wondered about the mysterious creatures lurking beneath the deep blue? Well, hold on to your snorkels, because today we're diving into the story of the mesmerizing Pacific Black Dragon. Now, imagine a creature so stealthy it wears the darkness as its cloak. With a body so black, it's like staring into the abyss. This ambush predator isn't just any dark. Even its stomach is pitch black, hiding any glowy snacks it might have just had. But wait, there's a surprise. Adorning its sleek body are rows of light cells shimmering like stars in the night sky. And dangling from its chin, a little luminescent lure, like a fishing rod reeling in unsuspecting meals straight into its toothy grin. And don't be fooled by their eel-like appearance. These aren't your typical eels. Now, here's where things get really wild. All that fascinating jazz, that's just the ladies. The males, well, they're living the fast and furious life. Tiny, toothless, and tadpole-ish. They don't have a stomach. And eating? Nah, not their jam. They just zoom around, find a lovely lady, black dragon, and call it a day. It's almost poetic, isn't it? Worried about bumping into one on your next beach trip? Don't be. These deep sea divas keep to themselves and don't fancy being in our dinner plates. Plus, we've been pretty chill neighbors to them so far, but remember, the ocean's a big place and even these mysterious wonders have their secrets. Who knows what other mind-blowing creatures await in the deep? And now it's time for our open discussion. Meet our sea floor stunner. Half mermaid, half croc? This eerie yet entrancing creature emerged from the deep sea's hidden corners. Could it be the distant cousin of our beloved Ariel? Or maybe the result of a wild underwater party gone wrong? Its haunting gaze and flowy tresses tell tales of ancient oceans and unsolved mysteries. Dive into the comments and let your imagination swim wild with theories. What's your take on this deep sea diva? Share with the hashtag open discussion and let's unravel this marine mystery together. Hey you, feeling lucky? Want a shout out in tomorrow's video? All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and comment down below your fave moment from today's juicy topics. Tomorrow, you just might be the talk of the town. All right, enough chit chat, back to the show. Cone Snail. Ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, buckle up because we're deep diving into the world of the Cone Snail. You see, these little critters might just be the Kardashians of the deep sea. Glamorous? Absolutely. With vibrant hues and intricate patterns, their shells are like the haute couture of the ocean floor. Collectors would pay a pretty penny to get their hands on one. But here's the twist. Behind the insta-worthy exterior lies one of the nature's deadliest assassins. Imagine the geography cone snail. A true heartbreaker with a stunning shell, but oh boy does it pack a punch. If looks could kill, right? Well, in its case, they actually do. In fact, it's got enough venom to take down 15 humans with just one sting. 15! And let's not even talk about how much damage an entire snail's venom could do. Hint, it's in the hundreds. Now, here's a fun fact. Of the near 1,000 species of cone snails, only two have a notorious rap sheet with a whopping 27 confirmed hits. But word on the ocean floor is that the real number, way higher. So, the next time you're tempted to pick up a pretty shell or you spot one while swimming, let's remember, our cone snail friends and swim in the opposite direction. Trust me, you'll thank me later. In a world of sharks and jellyfish, who'd have thought our most captivating villains would come in such a small, pretty package? So remember, looks can be deceiving and always swim safe. Zombie Starfish Ready to dive into a tale of mystery, magic, and, well, monsters? 
Grab your scuba gear because we're heading into the enigmatic world of starfish, or should we say the stars of the sea. Picture this, a creature so extraordinary it gives Deadpool a run for his money. A starfish's party trick? Lose a limb to some underwater foe. Poof, it grows right back. Magical, right? But in the world of the deep sea, not everything is as it seems. Because, wait for it, in 2013 and 2014, our starry heroes started, well, melting. Yep, like a candle in the sun. What's worse, some of their limbs went full on zombie mode, crawling around the ocean floor without a body. Creepy or cool, you decide. Now, I know what you're thinking, aren't these guys nearly indestructible? That's what everyone thought. And as Hewson, our trusty disease detective, puts it, it's like they press the ultimate self-destruct button. From shiny star to slimy sludge in just 48 hours, our brave scientists were on the case, racing against time, diving deep into the world of starfish to uncover this slimy mystery. So my oceanic friends, the next time you gaze upon a starry night, spare a thought for the real stars of our story, the mighty starfish. And remember, even the strongest have their vulnerabilities. Shout out to our friend Abdullah. We're so glad you enjoy the content and thanks for joining in on the open discussion. Keep those comments coming. Armored Sea Robin. Imagine a fish so fierce it wears armor like a medieval knight heading into battle. But instead of jousting, this little fella is just cruising the ocean floor, minding its own armored business. Who knew evolution could whip up something this epic? And get this, if this tiny titan were any bigger, it'd be downright terrifying. Yet these elusive critters remain mostly off our radar, giving us fleeting glimpses only when some deep diving submersibles snap their picks. It's not just the armor that's mind blowing. The deep sea dweller sports a snout so long and broad it could rival any swordfish. And those barbells dangling beneath, totally giving us medieval beard vibes. With the ruby red body contrasting against those pretty and pink fins, it's like the ocean's very own knight in shining, well, scales. But despite the grandeur, our armored amigo stays petite, never growing beyond a cute 4.75 inches. So the next time you think of ocean monsters, think beyond the usual suspects. The armored sea robin with its mysterious ways and impenetrable exterior is the real unsung hero of the deep. And remember, great things, or in this case, absolutely astounding, often come in small packages. The flower hat jelly. Ready for a whimsical whirlwind trip to unveil the ocean's most bedazzling yet slightly terrifying monster, the flower hat jelly. Picture this. A jellyfish that could easily double up as a showstopper at a fashion week, rocking a pinstriped translucent bell, complemented by multicolored tentacles. This jelly doesn't just float aimlessly, it's got style, chilling on the seafloor like it owns the place. But don't be fooled by its fabulous appearance. With a size of up to 6 inches, this glammed up creature isn't all about the glitz. Venture near the coasts of southern Japan, Brazil, or Argentina, and you might just get a first-hand experience of its painful sting, leaving you with a flashy rash as a souvenir. And here's a fun fact. Ever tried shrimp fishing in Brazil? Good luck if these divas are around, because they're not fans of sharing the spotlight. They'll clog up nets and drive those shrimps to the deep ends like celebrities avoiding paparazzi. Now, let's have a moment of deep sea reflection. Jellies with no head, heart, brain, or even bones are ruling the roost down there. They're predators with cells more intricate than any high-end couture. So when you think of the ocean's wonders, remember our glam yet fearsome flower hat jelly, reminding us that sometimes beauty can have a bit of a sting. Mysterious purple orb. Ever wondered what lurks beneath the deep blue? Prepare to dive into a tantalizing tale of mysterious discoveries and uncharted territories. Aboard the research vessel Nautilus, our brave scientists are on a journey like no other. Imagine cruising along, focusing on studying those deep sea corals in California's Channel Islands, and boom. Out of nowhere, this tiny radiant purple orb is caught on camera. It's so vibrant, so out of place. It's a purple blob? Yep, that's what our intrigued researchers dubbed it, their voices echoing curiosity and excitement. What is that, they mused, leaving all of us in suspense. As speculations fill the air, from egg sacs to mysterious embryos, the tension rises. Will they discover its secrets? 
But wait, enter the scene stealer, a curious crab, sneakily approaching our enigmatic blob, jarring it with its leg. No! But have no fear, with a futuristic remote-controlled suction tube, our heroes from Nautilus whisk the orb away, ensuring its safety. So, what's the conclusion? Well, that's for another video. Big Fin Squid Ever heard tales of ghostly creatures lurking in the deep just waiting for their close-up? Well, buckle in, because we're unveiling the mystical Big Fin Squid. Imagine this, a hauntingly beautiful creature stretching longer than a school bus its slender arms and tentacles making up the bulk of its eerie length. Now, you'd think such a spectacle would be the talk of the seas, right? But nope. With a measly dozen sightings worldwide, spotting the big fin squin is like finding a needle in a haystack. Nay, a hayfield. The recent heart-stopping moment came when the all-star NOAA Ocean Exploration Team, during their windows to the Deep 2021 expedition, struck deep sea gold capturing this enigma on camera. And you know what's wild? The squid isn't just any regular cephalopod. Picture a giant living spiderweb, casting its lengthy arms downwards, and snaring unsuspecting prey as it flutters up. Creepy cool, right? Here's a fun tidbit. The sea phantom was only officially described by our smarty pants scientist two decades ago. And while we know of three species, whispers in the oceanic corridors suggest there could be more. As we continue diving deeper into the abyss, who knows what other secrets the Big Fin has in store? Shape-shifting Deep Staria Jelly Ever seen a real-life Transformer? No? We're not talking about robots from space. Dive them with us into the abyss of the deep where wonders never cease. I mean, is it a bird? A plane? A live interpretive art? Nah, it's even cooler. Ever watched a lava lamp and thought, wouldn't it be awesome if the sea had its own version? Well, meet the Deep Staria Jellyfish, the shapeshifter of the sea. One minute it's the grooviest thing lighting up the deep, and the next, boo! It's an ethereal ghost drifting and haunting like something straight out of a spooky movie. And then, in a blink, it morphs into a thin plastic bag look-alike, just floating and minding its own business. Now, guess what? The ocean exploration trust vessel Nautilus had a front row seat to this shapeshifting extravaganza captured on video near the remote southwest Baker Island. Our enthusiastic marine biologists could barely contain their giddiness as they watched this jelly's kaleidoscope of transformations. I mean, who could blame them? The jelly looks like it's straight out of an alien planet. And here's a little history snack for ya. The Deep Staria jelly was first spotted by none other than the legendary Jacques Cousteau during one of his deep sea blue dives. Living around 3,000 feet under, this mesmerizing creature lacks visible tentacles and sports a web of interconnected canals, believed to be its digestive tract. And while it's all beauty and wonder, this jelly has a little secret. Ever noticed its glowing heart? Well, plot twist, it's not a heart at all, but a cheeky red isopod, munching away and calling the jelly home, like the worst roommate ever. Sinister Siphonophores all right, ocean aficionados, are you ready for another deep dive? Ever heard of a creature longer than the blue whale, but as thin as your household broomstick? Puzzled? Let's unravel this marine mystery. Introducing the giant siphonophore. Now, if you're imagining one big old creature, you're in for a surprise. Picture this, a confederation of specialized critters all hitching a ride together, like a funky underwater train. Some carriages snag prey, others munch away, some reproduce, and a few cool ones even take the wheel, propelling the sea train forward. And just when you thought it couldn't get any fancier, this creature is its own disco light. Yep, this bioluminescent beauty shines bright blue when it collides with something. Talk about lighting up the party, right? Now, a little ocean PSA for all of us land dwellers. Our deep sea buddies are more connected to us than you might think. The trash we chuck or lose might just become an uninvited guest in the world of these wonders. So let's remember, the deep sea isn't a distant universe, it's right here under our own very feet. And what we do up here ripples all the way down. But for now, sit back and marvel at this stick-thin titan, reminding us that in the deep sea, size and shape come in the most unexpected packages. Next up, are you ready for another sea tale? Stay tuned. Monkfish 
All right, brave souls, brace yourselves because our next deep sea monster is a real beauty. Okay, maybe not in the traditional sense, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Dive in with me as we unearth the mysteries of the monkfish. Visualize this, a four foot long, 50 pound mud brown creature that instead of soaring in the sea, looks like it got a little squished. Yep, it's pretty flat, with a face only a mother could love. It sports a broad upward facing mouth, eyes perched on top of its head probably for better people watching, and fleshy fins that'd make you think twice about shaking hands with them. And scales? Who needs them? Not our slippery pal, the monkfish. You'd be forgiven for confusing them with your Mediterranean and black-bellied counterparts. But remember, it's what's inside that counts. When it comes to the dinner menu, the monkfish isn't picky. Fancy some zooplankton or shrimp cocktail? How about a fellow monkfish or even a seabird? This gluttonous gourmet will chow down on just about anything. But watch out, sharks and swordfish, bigger monkfish aren't your ideal bite-sized snack. You might think this bottom dweller is a homebody, but you'd be mistaken. This mysterious mud lover spanned from Newfoundland to North Carolina, and have even been spotted vacationing in Barbados and the Gulf of Mexico. They're so famous, in fact, that there's an entire commercial fishery dedicated to them in the US. But remember, if you're looking to get a closer look or a taste, make sure you're following the rules. The DMF's watching. Pufferfish. Just like our seemingly harmless flat friend, the monkfish, here comes another seemingly innocent sea dweller. But this one's got a bit more of a, shall we say, prickly personality. Let's dive deeper. If there was a cuteness contest in the deep blue, pufferfish would probably take home the crown. But don't let those round, googly eyes and squishy faces fool you. Beneath that cute exterior lies a deadly secret. These adorable balloons of the sea harbor a toxin that makes cyanide look like child's play. We're talking about a toxin 1,200 times deadlier. Just one of those puffer bad boys has enough venom to knock out 30 adult humans. Yikes. Now you're probably thinking, who on earth would risk it? But did you know that in Japan there's a dish called fugu? Made from the very meat of the puffer fish, and here's the crazy part. It's not just an ordinary dish, it's a luxury. Only the most skilled chefs armed with licenses and nerves of steel can whip it up, slicing carefully around the dangerous bits. One tiny mistake? Let's just say it's not the chef's reputation on the line. Now, as for the predators in the sea, they've got their own set of problems. A quick bite into a puffer might result in a fatal choking incident, or if they manage to gulp it down, let's just say it doesn't end well. It's a deadly package delivered with a deceivingly cute bow on top. Moral of the story, sometimes appearances can be delightfully deceiving. And for our puffers, we think they're the perfect mix of cute and cunning. Rock on, puffers. Chimera. Just when you thought we couldn't get any deeper into the realm of spine-tingling sea dwellers, remember that cute but deadly puffer fish? We've got another mysterious twist for you. What swims, has fins, and looks eerily like a shark? No, it's not a trick question. Introducing the ghost shark, but wait, plot twist, it's not actually a shark. These spectral swimmers are in fact chimeras, relatives of our toothy friends, but with some peculiar distinctions. You know how most fishes have multiple gills on each side? Not these guys. A single gill on either side sets them apart, but that's not even the most haunting part. Dive deeper with them into the abyss and you might just catch their eyes lighting up, glowing in the mysterious dark like twin lanterns guiding lost souls. Now picture this, a six foot long shadow silently gliding beneath you, its glowing eyes piercing the watery gloom. Gives you the chills, right? Ghost sharks really live up to their name, with a haunting presence that can make even the bravest of divers feel just a wee bit uneasy. Pacific Football Fish Hold on to your diving goggles because the waters are about to get even murkier. Flashback to 1985 in the mesmerizing depths of Monterey Bay, California. Picture this. Fishermen haul up their nets expecting the usual catch, but what they get is straight out of a nautical nightmare. A fish that looked like it's auditioning for a horror movie. Meet the Pacific Football Fish, a rare member of the infamous anglerfish order. Now, it's not going to win any beauty contest with its prickly skin, beady eyes, and jaws that could give any dentist a challenge. But the real showstopper? That peculiar stalk on its head which ends in a glowing bulb. 
Imagine being a small fish, seeing that alluring glow, only to realize too late it's a dinner invitation from the inside. Remember that part in Finding Nemo? Just keep swimming. But wait, the plot thickens. Here's where things get really fishy. The size disparity between male and female anglerfish is, well, jaw-dropping. And get this, some males become literal life partners, fusing themselves into their lovely ladies, eventually becoming nothing more than a handy sperm dispenser. Talk about being attached. From glowing lures to bizarre love lives, the anglerfish surely adds an electrifying chapter to our deep sea chronicles. Lancetfish. Remember our bizarre love-struck anglerfish from the last deep sea saga? Well, next in line is the creature even the anglerfish might do a double take at. Meet the lancetfish, the relic of the deep. Picture a creature with monstrous fanged jaws, eyes as vast as the ocean abyss, and a sail fin that would make any sailor envious. Straight out of a prehistoric time, you'd think. With a title like Alephosaurus, meaning scaleless lizard, you'd half expect it to join the ranks of a T-Rex. Now, sizing up to seven feet, they roam the ocean's twilight zone. Yep, that mysterious shrouded realm, also known as the Mesopelagic Zone. Found from the tropics to the chilly subarctic waters, you'd have quite the count since 1982. What's baffling? Their insatiable appetite. A 2018 deep dive into their tummies gave us a peek into the midwater food web. But here's the kicker. Their meals, almost fresh. No digestion, just pure undiluted hunger. Bulk feeding at its finest, perhaps. Dietarily speaking, lancetfish aren't picky. They'll munch on fish, squids, and even octopus. And talk about self-love. They're notorious for a bit of, shall we say, self-snacking. Yep, they don't mind dining on their kind. Oh, and before we move on, remember that lancetfish are simultaneous hermaphrodites. Reproductive secrets in the deep remain just that, a mystery. And while we may not fancy their gelatinous, watery flesh, the ocean's top predators sure don't mind a lancetfish snack. Sarcastic fringe head. Imagine this, a deep sea sitcom where male fringe heads boast about whose mouth can stretch the most. Yep, these fellas love a good showdown. When a neighboring fringe head dude gets too close, they engage in a hilarious mouth duel. Picture it, two grumpy fish inflating their mouths to a whopping four times their original size, practically pressing them against each other, as if trying to outscream one another. It's the underwater equivalent of flexing in the mirror, and all this showy behavior just to prove who's the boss of the block. Ladies, ever thought of laying your eggs in a cool underwater crib? Well, the fringe head gals do just that. The most flamboyant males guard these eggs like knights of the deep, ensuring their offspring's safety. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Despite their huge, flashy mouths, it's speculated that this might actually be a dining dilemma for them. Without the ability to suction feed like their fellow blennies, what's a fringe head to do? Turns out they've got a soft spot for squid eggs. During squid spawning season, these quirky fellas munch away, savoring every tiny squid treat. Talk about having a selective palate. Faceless Cusk Eel Ever heard of a creature that lurks in the depths, faceless and blind, yet moves with an aura of ancient mystery? Introducing the Faceless Cusk Eel, and no, we didn't make that name up. Imagine a fish with a bulbous head, a snout that juts out, but here's the catch. It doesn't seem to have eyes, at least the big ones don't. Yep, Mother Nature sure has a quirky sense of humor. And as if it wasn't mysterious enough, this enigma of a fish has scales that it can shed off. Kind of like us with winter jackets, but a tad cooler, don't you think? Now, want a fun history lesson? This faceless wonder isn't some new kid on the block. It was first discovered during the legendary Challenger expedition back in the 1870s. Just think, it was silently swimming in the northern coral sea while people on land were hustling about in top hats and corsets. From jaw-flexing fringe heads to the elusive faceless cusk, the ocean keeps serving up surprises. Stay hooked, because our journey into the abyss is not over. What monstrous marvel will we stumble upon next? Giant tube worms. Picture this. Scientists are exploring the abysmal Pacific when they stumble upon what looks like underwater chimneys spewing dark, eerie plumes. They're black smokers, hydrothermal vents that shoot out water teeming with chemicals and minerals, thanks to good old volcanic heat. Now, if you or I took a swim near one of these bad boys, we'd be toast in seconds, literally. 
But here's where it gets wild. There's life flourishing here in the pitch black. Life that's never seen sunlight. Ever. How? Meet the star of this shadowy underworld, the giant tube worm. These towering worms munch not on sunlight's gifts, but on tiny bacteria that are total chem geniuses. They whip up energy directly from those vent chemicals, a fancy process called chemosynthesis. It's like cooking without a recipe, and these giant tube worms, they're the big cousins of other worms chilling in shallower sunlit waters. Firework jellyfish. Picture this, the EV Nautilus crew, true deep sea explorers, are diving into the mysterious waters off Baja, California, Mexico. At the Revilla Guedo Archipelago, depths of 4,000 feet where the sun is just a distant memory. And in this pitch black world, bam, a firework explosion. But nope, it's not the 4th of July down here. It's the firework jellyfish lighting up like it's nature's very own pyrotechnic show. Can you believe it? This jellyfish with its stunning patterns and hues would usually float around in complete darkness, invisible, unseen. But when our human-made lights hit, whoa. Radical canals moving nutrients through its belly burst into spectacular starburst patterns. Our ROV Hercules lights painted in splashes of vivid yellow and pink, the crew shares. Imagine meeting such a radiant creature in an inky world where no sunlight dares to tread. From fiery jellies to boiling vents, the deep sea keeps surprising us with its hidden wonders. Bobbit Worm Ever watched a horror movie and thought, that lurking monster, psh, only in movies. Think again, because our next deep sea dweller is nothing short of a thriller plot. And oh, it's no mummy, zombie, or friendly firework jelly, it's the Bobbit Worm. Now, imagine strolling on tropical sands, maybe spotting a colorful fish or two. But beneath, there lies the ultimate under-the-bed monster, but for the ocean. The bobbit worm, yeah, sounds like hobbit, but way scarier. Camouflages itself beneath stretching up to a whopping 10 feet long. And the only thing visible? It's five eerie antennae, like creepy fingers wiggling and waiting for dinner. And here's where the real horror begins. When it feels a fish above, zoom, faster than you can say, beware of the bobbit. It lunges with jaw-dropping speed. Those sharp teeth, yep, they can literally split its prey in two. And to add a pinch of evil to its genius hunting skills, it has its own special toxin. Why, you ask? To melt its meal from the inside, making digestion, uh, well, breeze. Titan Triggerfish. Alrighty, brave ocean lovers, ready for our grand finale in this deep sea monster series? We've covered some pretty wild creatures, but get ready for, drum roll, the Titan Triggerfish. Now, what makes this fish the Titan of the Reef, you ask? Well, it's not just about size, my friends. First off, this fish boasts a helmet-like, heavily scaled head, seemingly armored for battle. And those deep grooves right before its eyes? They give it a fierce, don't mess with me look. Plus, you've got to love that chic black region with yellow polka dots. Kind of like it's wearing designer sunglasses to a beach party. But here's the twist. The Titan Triggerfish isn't just a pretty face. Ever heard of a fish with a temper? This one takes the cake. Not just content with its magnificent coral reef palaces stretching from Australia to the Central Pacific. It's also super protective. Like three divers got chased kind of protective. Yep, when guarding its nest, this Titan turns from a beauty to a beast. So, snorkelers, a word of advice? If you see one, admire from a distance. Now, as we wrap up our oceanic monster hunt, isn't it wild to think about the incredible, beautiful, and sometimes fierce beings that call the deep blue home? From flashy jellies to worms out of horror films and fashionable feisty fish, the ocean's tales are endless. And remember, every monster has its story, and each story is a treasure. Until our next deep sea adventure, keep exploring, stay curious, and always respect the mighty creatures of the deep.